I believe people who come to this city come for a reason. We've always had the right people show up at the right time. I was one of the five founders of the city. The first mayor, when we first got started, of course, we were an unknown city. But when I became mayor, that was one of my priorities, to solve the South Glen problem. So I got a call from a, a gentleman, runs Alberta Development, and he said, Randy, would you come over and meet me for breakfast? He said, I've got a concept I want to run by you. And he pulls out his pen and we, he, he lays out one of the napkins at the table and he starts sketching what currently is the streets at South Glen. The fondest memory for me happens to do with Ikea. Doug Greenholtz and his team at Ikea had had a kind of a rough time trying to find a location on the I-25 corridor in C-470 because of the colors that they have, blue and yellow. Pretty bright, you can see it from space. They came in and then he said, now we're gonna either end this conversation or we're going to go much deeper. We have a color scheme for Ikea. It's blue and yellow. If you don't like those colors, we're not changing them and we'll just end the meeting and we'll leave. I saw the city manager out of the corner of my eye smiling and I said, Doug, and I reached behind me and I lifted the shade because behind that was the Centennial logo in blue and yellow. And I smiled at him and I said, Doug, I don't think we're gonna have any problem. But I'm proud of the fact that we're the, noted as the safest city in Colorado in, in cities over 100,000. It's amazing the draw that the city of Centennial has for people wanting to come here to do something. That's what's made the city so successful. I like to think we're a community of communities. We aren't a city that is like any other. Some of the, the challenges are just anything that comes with being a new city, and certainly as the second mayor, I got to the benefit of many of those practices were in place, but we needed to refine a number of them. Transportation was something that I really wanted to focus on. We had some gridlock areas here in our city, Arapahoe and I-25, Arapahoe Road from Waco to Himalaya. I'm very proud that we were able to get those projects completed and without any debt. My fondest memory is actually 2012, the Summer Olympics for Missy Franklin. You know, our hometown girl was just the darling of the Olympics. And for a city that was relatively new, I mean, she was our hero. And to see on, you know, worldwide news, Centennial Colorado listed under someone's name was like, this is the identity that we've been seeking. Park is one of my favorites, Centennial Center Park. Because I was mayor when it opened, that park also sort of put us on the map. I want people to want to come back and raise their children in the same communities that they were raised in. I hope it's always a place you want to come home to. I see the city of Centennial really coming together. The biggest challenge for me as mayor is the year 2020. One of the things that we've done really well is communicate with our citizens and let them know what's going on, what's happening, and how we can help. FiberWorks was a huge project that started when I was first elected to city council that really offers choice to our citizens and our businesses and how you want to get internet access. I'm very proud of it because we worked on it so hard and kept really steadfast in going forward and understanding that this will really make us a future ready city. The city of Centennial is a great place for families to live that enjoy open space, that enjoy good schools, and then enjoy a community that's innovative and always looking for great solutions to problems that we face. We're on a great path. We're on a great path to go forward and I'm just proud to have been a part of it.